another Let's Play video for the Dungeon Hunter Alliance series. Um, today, uh, if you've watched the last installment of this series, we defeated the boss Cremator, uh, which was a fiery, flamey boss uh, inside of the, um, the, the dead pit. Um, so anyways, we are back here. Uh, and we are looking to continue onward and figure out what else we can get into here in this wonderful game of Dungeon Hunter Alliance. Um, so anyways, I've got a quest to go back in here and take care of some stuff. So let's go in here and kill some goblins. Um, again, we are in the game Dungeon Hunter Alliance. If you do not know, I'm playing the uh, Mac version of this. It is 99 cents for a limited time in the Mac App Store. Very fun game. It's a dungeon crawler. And uh, so hopefully you've already checked it out. If not, you need to. So let's go ahead and see what we're dealing with here. Okay, Red X is a good thing. That's where I need to be going. All right, I'm killing some goblin sorcerers. Goblin slavers. And anything else that the dead pit can throw at me. These guys stand no chance against me. Against me. Ah. So I got some nice upgrades when I killed the uh, Cremator. Uh, he gave me a nice looking shield that uh, is very fun to use. And it gives me a lot more uh, health regen as far as that goes. Okay, so let's continue onward and upward. This game has a ton of loot in it, like I've stated before in these playthroughs, and uh, it's a lot of fun to, to kind of min-max your character, uh, try to get better weapons, better armor, better trinkets, um, and all, all of this is dropped from the uh, the mobs that are just uh, scattered throughout this um, this uh, these different variations of dungeons. So these guys here, they just kind of love to drop down from the sky on their chains. Little do they know what's awaiting them once they land. It's me and my hatchet, ready to cut their faces off. I also have a special ability, <coughs> excuse me, uh, which my fairy Celeste possesses. I can press the four key and uh, she will beam down a bolt of lightning which will kill anything in its path which is a very handy tool to use when you're in the midst of a bunch of mobs like I am at the moment but I'm not going to use it just in case something bigger and badder shows up. These guys right here are just a pain in the butt because they throw fire and they're just not any fun to deal with whatsoever. Uh, oh there's some good loot there. Press enter to pick up the loot. Man you guys just don't know when to call it quits huh? Let's get out of the way of that chain so you guys can see a little better. The one key is what I have keyed over to uh, to use for uh, for my special ability. Let's go ahead and use her. Bam! There you go. You just saw the lightning bolt spell that my fairy so graciously provides for me. Get out of my way, guys. These, these, these goblin... Guys, just don't know when to call it quits. It's terrible. So with that new shield that I picked up, actually it gave me some uh, a more percentage to crit, which what that means is to hit critically, which means a more powerful hit than what you normally would uh, induce upon your enemies. 
Come on, guys. I'm running out of potions here, which is not a good thing in the midst of all this chaos. In the midst of all the chaos. See these guys right here climbing the wall? It's wonderful. The graphics on this game is is, is, is not are, are not that bad. Uh, it's actually a uh, very well designed game with some uh, fun different graphic variations. I haven't seen much variation in the mobs though, but I have been contained to one dungeon uh, just because there's so much. Oh, you guys don't know what's coming to hit you. Because I have been contained to this one dungeon, uh, trying to complete all these, the, the beginning quest here. Um, so, yes. And another thing that one of the pieces of loot that I picked up allowed me to do, it allowed me to gain XP faster, which was a neat little stat bonus to add to a, a piece of equipment. Goodness gracious, these guys are killing me. It's that guy right there that has the most damage. There we go. Let's pick up all these different loot options here. Okay, so once I go there, I'm actually out of health potions. So what I will do is I will go back to the potion vendor, grab me some potions, and head straight back to where I was going there. Oh, let's pick up some loot while I'm there. I missed these pieces. As I was skeletal. Purple items are very valuable. The skeletal will not be of any use to me. It is a wand. And uh, I do not use wands. I use hatchets, axes, swords. You can only hold ten potions at one time. So I got my ten potions. And I am on my way back to kill these goblins so when you get down to zero potions you need to be very careful uh, you can take a lot of damage but there are times when there's a ton of mobs like you just saw and they'll just annihilate you so be very careful um, when it comes to that respect ah giant skeletons in what way shape or form are these guys any benefit to society none if you ask me Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and pull the lever, open this door, and see what nastiness awaits me. Ooh, the fire flaming goblin sorcerer. Oh, he stunned me. It's not good. Again, this game is only 99 cents in the Mac App Store. It's a port. It's actually on the PS, uh, the new PlayStation Vita, the new uh, console, uh, handheld console released by Sony. Uh, about a, I think it was this week. Uh, as well as it's on the iPhone and iPad. Um, it's on, a, I think, it, is it on Xbox Live? If anybody knows that, let me know. I think it'll be a fun game to play on Xbox Live, PSN. I don't know if it's on those platforms or not, but could be, could be. Okay, let's see what else we've got going on here. Let's get these barrels out of my way. What is behind this corner here? Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and open this platform. Let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. Because we're about to get attacked by a bunch of goblins. Uh-oh, what does this guy want? Enslaved trolls. These trolls have been enslaved for a while. You'd think they would uprise and try to escape, but apparently they like the state they're in. Fireballs, fireballs. Oh, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. There we go. Come on! Show me what you got. A goblin piper. When he plays the pipe. Okay, you are getting on my nerves. You flamethrowing son of a gun. See what is within the chest. Oh, a muslin. Whatever that is. 
Okay, 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 okay. It says go this way and then take a left over here. Maybe. Maybe not. But let's continue onward. Let's press the map button. Oh, I need to go over there. I need to go straight. Eat that. Again, I'm very sorry you can hear me pounding on the space bar. That is the main auto attack in this game. And my computer microphone picks it up at a very loud rate. So, excuse that. Now these guys pop out of ground. The ground. They're zombies. I guess they can do whatever they feel necessary. Pick up the gold. Gold is not very hard to obtain in this game. It's actually fairly easy. And once you sell all the good loots that you find that you cannot use, uh, you will find yourself having an abundant amount of gold. Which is not a bad thing. You can buy good stuff with gold. Gold is useful. Obviously. Zombies. Oh, what is this guy? He wants a piece of the... The hatchet. Goblin soldiers, goblin goblin crawlers, all sorts of goblins. Okay. All right, to carry you guys. This enslaved troll wants a little action here. Okay, goblin soldiers, goblin crawlers, and of course the slaver. Oh, he dropped a nice skeletal. It's a blue skeletal which is a wand in this game. Like I was saying in the last video, all of the weapons are in, in shields and armor. They're all named the same thing, so you know what they are. There may be different variations as far as how good they are with the quality. You know, white is common. Uh, green is uncommon. Blue is rare. Purple's epic. And I think gold and orange are legendary as far as the item classifications in this game. What's this guy got going on here? Oh, a goblin merchant. Wonderful. Can sell a whole lot of this stuff that I don't necessarily need. So as you see here, I'm just going through here and selling all of this useless stuff. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and just be done with that. What is in this chest? A hatchet and more enemies. Brilliant. Let's check the map and let's zoom out. So apparently I gotta go onward over here where the red X's are and continue killing. Uh, let's go ahead. I wonder if this guy over here sells potions. If so, that would be great. Greatly happy. Okay, uh, let's see here. Miscellaneous. Apparently he does not. So, we will continue on and see what we can find. If you guys have played this game and know some tips, pointers, and things that I am not doing in this game and would like to criticize my playthrough, go right ahead. I take criticism. Uh, with a grain of salt and would appreciate it. So if you know some tools of the tricks of the trade, I mean, then uh, let me know. Uh, tell me how I can kill these guys faster and more efficiently. Would be greatly appreciated. So uh, go pick this game up. Stop watching the video. Go pick it up. Play it. And then maybe you can become a expert and help me out. Make sure I'm going the right way, and I am.
Oh, killing zombies. So fun. But, in my opinion, a little overdone. The only criticism so far in the first couple hours of this game is just the redundant nature of the mobs. And uh, I'm still in the same dungeon. Uh, and I understand there's probably something that I'm doing that I could avoid this. But... That would be one of the main complaints I have. It's just the similar mobs that you have. There's not much difference in the design layout of the dungeon once you go deeper into the dungeon. Now, the boss fight with Cremator, the fiery, flamey boss that I fought, was very fun. Uh, but again, once you know, I call this trash. Uh, once you kill all the trash mobs, they're they're fairly similar to the previous uh, encounters. So, well, you know, that's a complaint. But again. You know, no game is perfect, so. Okay, went ahead and purchased my 10 potions to uh, make sure I am healed up for the next few pulls here. Next few pulls, I sound like I'm playing an MMO, which I am not, but I guess you could use the same terminology. All right, the guys throwing flames are officially, officially my least favorite probably but oh, I just annihilated him he stood no chance the good news is I'm gaining a great deal of XP throughout all of this so uh, with that being said uh, I should level up quite fast and my power that I contain will continue to grow which is good because the more strong well that's terrible language the stronger that I am Quicker, I should be able to get through all this trash here. Let's go back over here, pick up the tool, pick up the skeletal, pick up the ring. Leveled up right there to level six. So, so fun. And another thing, there's no, as you saw there, I just leveled up to level six, and, and there was no big ding or big sound, and that's something that I'm a big fan of. Like in Call of Duty, there's like, you know, that sound, da -da -da or whatever, that I can't even say it, make that noise myself, but you get a, a sense of accomplishment with that, and in this game, it's just kind of like, you know, your, your level bar goes up, and you see your health bar go up, so... Uh, you know that that, that kind of lets you know, but uh, but aside from that, you you really have no idea that you've that you've just leveled up. It's the little things in life. It's the little things in life. Okay, I'm stunned, which is not a good thing. Come on, come on. Oh, I picked up something of orange value, which is good. Okay. I love that spell. Whenever you get tired of hacking and slashing, you just press the four key and the fairy comes down with her lightning bolt and destroys all enemies in sight. And I'm sure as you level up, her powers get stronger as well, which is cool. And you can tell a, a difference once you level up of how hard you hit and how much damage you can withstand and whatnot. So this guy, again, I hate these guys. There we go. Um, so, you know, you do get a sense of, you know, you are getting stronger. You are getting more powerful. Um, and, of course, as you level up, you'll be getting better and better loot, which is a good thing.
so I took care of those guys. And I guess I need to go back down here and uh, turn the quest back in to, uh, to those kind folks back in some Samaros village. Uh oh, sorry. But before I do so, I guess I could go over here and pick me up some more potion. Okay, so let's go back in here. Enter Thamos Village, yes. Okay, so uh, I cleared out the dungeon. Cleared out the, uh, the dead pit, is what they call it. And uh, so now we'll go back into Thamos Village and see what we have to, to do next. So again, guys, we were in the playthrough of Dungeon Hunter Alliance, and uh, we're following my character Axel as on his journey through the dungeons, and um, he's a level six warrior. So uh, let's see what else we can uh, get into here. So I'm about to end this video once we get through in the village here, and uh, then we'll go from here. So we got the X on the screen. It is nighttime. You can see here it's pretty good graphics in the village here. Your own little gravel road and. All right, here we go. Let's speak with Naisa. Axel, you were right. There was another cremator demon down there. Was being the key word in this case. Ha, <laughs> killed him. Nice job. So she's very pleased with me. Quest completed, 200 gold, 500 XP. Oh, I feel so, so accomplished. So accomplished. Okie dokie, uh, let's see here, what quest we have here, uh, level exit, teleporter, uh, let's go back and see what other, qu uh oh, what quest we have to complete here, uh, the troll hunt, return to the royal tomb according to priest Rene, no one can leave Thamos village until the goblin king hiding deep in his goblin lair beneath the dead pit has been dethroned at the royal heritage. The Troll Hunt. A Thomas village garden needs help killing enslaved trolls that infest the dead pit in the royal tomb. I've already done that, but right now I'm on the royal heritage. So we will go back below the dead pit into the royal tomb, uh, as Priest Rene has asked, and we will kill the Goblin King, and then we'll be able to leave uh, this wonderful area here known as Thamos Village. But first, we got a skill point that we have not uh, placed in, in anywhere. Leadership. The uh, next level is XP 2%. Merchant prices drop by 6%. So uh, let's go. Let's go back here and see what else we got. This one, uh, Ravager. Uh, next bonus damage 20 plus 20 with a single melee weapon. Critical chance plus two. That is what I want, please. All right. So as you can see here, I'm a level six warrior. Uh, I got 17 strength, dex dexterity. Um, oh, oh. Now I have discovered something. As I click on it, I get, man, I am such a moron. So I want to have as much strength and endurance as possible. Okay, so that's neat. And then it gives me, you know, there, there's a lot of stat breakdown here uh, that I have here. But anyways, guys, this has been another installment of Let's Play uh, Dungeon Hunter Alliance. Following the character Axel on his journey, the next episode, we will be going beneath the dead pit to the goblin lair to destroy the goblin king. Have a good day, guys, and I'll see you next time.